Hello everyone, my name is Ekaterina and today we're gonna be starting, hopefully, a new playthrough, a new series on the channel. Uh, the game Observation, it's the same, um, from the same developers, like No Code, I think, the developer's name, uh, who also made um, Stories Untold, which I played kind of recently, even though I didn't finish. Uh, I the game broke me on the third episode. If you haven't seen it, you have to watch it. Um, yeah, so this is like uh, the next game they made, I believe, after Stories Untold. I already see similarities to to it. Um, uh, it's a first-person sci-fi horror game, but uh, we'll see if I'm correct or not. Uh, yeah, let's start a new game, shall we? Okay, the mouse in this game is super, super fast. I think I'm gonna make it like that. I don't want to just... Um, to sit the whole video like that, trying to see something, so... Um, we'll sync to audio, yeah, I guess. I really hope there won't be hacking tasks. I really hope the developers learned from their mistakes. That was definitely a mistake. Again, if you haven't seen the, first, the third episode of um, Stories Untold, you should go watch it. I'll put the link in the description. Low orbit space station observation. 410 kilometers above Earth. That's what they say. What they meant was sync to audio. Is it an orange should I turn it off? I don't know. Hello? Hello? Analyze. Emma Fisher, voice, print error, detect, reject or accept. Well, um... Uh, it is her, right? Great. Thanks, Sam. That's good. Come on, give me something. Sam? Are you there? Respond. Crew request. Are you there? Online status. Systems administration and maintains online. To 
enter respawn mode. Uh, and what should I do? No active objectives. Possible match respond. I am here. Oh, God. Thank God. Okay, okay, okay. Now we're getting somewhere. So okay. I'm relocating camera, Sam, not more connections. you seem to have booted up in module 8. I'm going to relocate you to the Horizon Utility Hub in module 9. That should give you access to limited system diagnostics. Hang on. Great. Listen, I'm stuck in the Horizon airlock in Module 11. I need to get into 9, but I'm not sure if it's safe to open this hatch door. Can you give me hull and pressure diagnostics on Module 9? So I'm a computer. I'm a... Uh... A AI, right? Well, she wanted model n model nine gathering data. I like this game so far. I really kind of like it. Pressure safe, power low. Uh, hull contract true. System links connected. Uh, yeah. And what should I do? Repeat last command. Um, ah, okay. Possible match. What she wanted? Module that? 9 hull contact points to adjacent modules read true. Good. We're still connected. How is okay. the pressure in 9? Pressure is safe. Module 9 is fully pressurized. Okay, that's good. Good. Uh, something is vibrating, Sam. Can you check the whole contact points on the other modules? Whole contacts on the other modules. Uh, yeah. Module 10, hull contact points to 12, read false. Suggesting that module 12 is no longer securely attached to the station. Shit. I think Josh might have been in module 12. Okay. I'm coming through to nine. All right. That's interesting. Like I'm playing as AI. The hatch door is jammed shut. <sighs> but I also like I'm a person controlling AI. That's kind of the controls aren't responding. Cool. See if you can restore power. Sam, you still there? Yeah. Well, I can't respond, it's a cutscene. What's going on, Sam? What is that noise? I don't know. Sam, what is that? Bring her. Sam, a response! What the hell is going on? Well... And wasn't a Sam the name of a, a robot in Alien? Oh, I'm mixing it. Maybe. Um, well, I like the game. I like the game so far already. That's really cool. Hello. I can't respond. Well, she's unconscious now. So we are on the station, there are like three people. She, uh, Josh, someone else. I'm Sam, a computer, and something happened on the station and we can't, we can't contact Sam, Houston. Sam, run your self-diagnostic yep. procedure. And what errors are you showing? Sam self-diagnostic, run Sam diagnostic. Relocation network error, diagnose, memory core error, crew tracker error. What happened? What's so bad? Relocation network diagnostic. Run network check. Model relocation network is non operational. Crew assist required. So, like, they need to reload me or something? Reboot the system? 
Uh, maybe. Relocation functions are offline. I require auto routing to access module cameras. Okay. I can manually relocate you, but once I get out of here, I'll get your systems up and running. Yeah, but I'm not done yet. I need to do other things too. Memory core diagnostics. Okay, interesting. 95% uh, degradation. Well, 93% well, degradation. 87. What does that mean? 97%. Um, should I say something? Possible match? Uh, yeah, well, I need to the tell that. The main memory core has been corrupted. Yeah. I have lost significant station data. Okay. So most of your system links and data logs are gone. Sam, you will need to scan, download, and recover as much data as you can. We need to get you back to your old self. All right. Crew identification in the identification network a tracker power station status monitor, vitals and life parameters, parameter sensors, location sensor array. Okay, let's start with that. Attempting connecting connection failed. Connection established. Okay, cool. Probably failed. Okay. Also. Um, yeah, well, we need to say about this. The connection between crew tracker functionality and SAM OS has been severed. So it's working, but the link is cut. I'll need to reconnect it in central. Yeah, she Josh? has a lot, a lot to do. May? Uh, me. Anyone? There are three people on the station. How is this possible? Why so so little? Okay. Yeah. I can't get out of here. The hatch controls aren't working. It might be a safety lockdown. You'll have to override the hatch from module nine. Okay. I'm auto routing you back to the utility hub in module nine. Yeah. Camera movement should be online now. Run a test. Oh, I can move the camera. Indeed. I can actually do that. That's really cool. Well, it's working. Looks um, good. Yeah. Camera cycling should be active as well. Check the other cameras. Hold on. I'm not done yet. I just want to rotate a bit more. Cycle, uh, to cycle between model cameras. And what is that? How do I... S do I need to push on that? Sphere modification. I guess we're still in Great. learning process. I can see your live feed updating from here. There should be a system links reset procedure document on the wall somewhere in there. Find it and scan it. Your scan range is limited, so use your camera zoom to get closer. Zoom and right left mouse button to scan. Okay, so like on the top left corner, or for me top left corner for you, also should be <laughs> uh, current location like uh, model nine and current angle angles like A B C we have. So what's that? What what about this uh, old sticky notes here? I don't like that. Let's see. Ah, there. That's the bait, right? Hello. No. Ah, there probably, right? 
system OS procedure a system link reset. Shows terminal input code tick that allows a crew member to reset some system link functionality in the event of a software failure. Warning, this procedure will require a reconnection to all system links station-wide. Only perform after a full reset. Okay. Yeah? That should be reinstalling the system link interface. Okay. Use your cameras to locate the hatch controls and any other integrated systems and equipment. Well, uh, we have not much things here, I gotta say. Three one one. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, I had to push it. Good. Looks like that's working. Add another. And another. S uh, spheres best practice available. Okay, this is a bit more complicated. I'm not sure if I like that. Uh, guidance spheres best practice. Development and control of uh, mic microgravity guidance spheres on observation is overseen by Dr. Emma Fisher. Operator interface for guidance spheres can be found through a graphic graphical user interf interface GUI that can be located at crew member log work stations and uh, is a planned upgrade to the existing SAM system during the observation mission. Guidance spheres are propel propelled by short harmless emission of CO2 and allow the user to inspect and repair both internal and external ship apparatus. Microgravity guidance spheres are still at the experimental stage. Good to know! Uh, well, there's only one thing I can I can look at, so when we read about that... Anything else? Let's switch to this camera to see things, maybe? Well, sphere modification bay. Is it somehow... Well, there is a sphere... Yeah, okay, laptop, anything else? Ah! Power caddy. Okay, turn it off. Oh, let's turn it on. Better recovered. Well, it doesn't work. I don't know why. Um, so should we turn it off? Don't know. Sphere doesn't seem to do anything. Well, laptop. We can't use actually anymore the laptop. I don't like that the cameras are moving so slow. Three, three, two. Okay. Now add the EAS eleven airlock hatch controls. Open hatch uh, schematic. Huh? Was I supposed to do that? I'm not sure. Well, I can't click on schematic. I can open or close hatch. So um. Not sure if that was correct. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what what she wants from me. Well, yeah, we read about that already. Um.
That probably she wants from me. Sam, add the EAS-11 airlock hatch controls. I need to get out of here. Well, I can't open... Uh... I'm not sure what she wants from me, honestly. I need to get out of here. Well... Should I close it then, simply? I don't know. I don't seem... I can't close it anymore, so... I don't know. Oh, that one. That one. Yeah, she needs that one. Um. Hmm, well, um. But uh, my angle, like, camera angle is not enough. And from here I can't really do... Oh, wait. Here. Yeah, right. Okay. Well, I added everything already. Just, you know... Just getting ahead already. Okay, looks like that is working. Now, use your system link interface to open the EAS-11 airlock. <sighs> That's it. It's open. I'm out. Good work, Sam. Okay. Yeah, it took a while. Let's get this up and running. I opened under the doors as well. <laughs> Josh? I don't know if you can hear me, but... Oh, I hate these things. Josh. If you're in EAS Module 12, then stay put. The hull connection isn't secure, and most of our systems are underpowered. I'll work something out. Josh? Houston? We have a problem. Anyone? What? Uh, wait a minute, Sam? Our internal communication network is fully online. Where has everyone gone? Oh shit. Uh, okay, station alert, station alert. Right, Sam, you should have access to your OS now. Enter the sun at any time by pressing space. You can now relocate to any module and view its camera feeds. Yeah. In the EAS arm, at least. Try it now. Find that fire, Sam. Okay, so here's Emma. Uh... Here. Uh, doesn't seem like it. Is it on time? I'm not sure. Maybe it's on time. Oh, found it! Whoa! Uh. There is a fire out of control in EAS-4. Shit, I'm on my way! Is she moving? Yeah, she is actually. Is she coming? Where is she? Still there. What are you doing? Where are you? She has to be there. Oh, there. Sam, 
Sam? Yeah? The hatch in EAS 6 is locked down. Can you get it open for me? Uh, one, four, four. It's open. I'm on my way. Yeah. You're welcome. Relocate to EAS 3. I'll need your help when I get there. Yeah, I'm all on it already. Hello. Whoa. What is she doing? What are you doing? Is it? Okay. Fire extinguisher, right? Add the EAS pull hatch controls to your system links, but wait for my signal. Uh, uh where is the button for it? Uh, hold on a sec. How do I do that? Where's the button? There has to be a button, right? First of all. Or maybe from the other side? Laptop, me. Um. I don't see a button. Opa. God damn it. Well, it's not what she wanted, right? Oh, wait, there it is. I didn't even see that. It's so hidden. Fire Damn. suppression override. Dr. Emma Fisher. Okay, Sam. I need you to get ready and open the door. On three. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. One, two, three. <sighs> That's it. Come on! It does not work, Sam. right? <laughs> the vents on in here. Clear these fumes. The vents? Um... This is taking a very... Ooh. This is taking very long. It would be faster if she would do that, but okay. <laughs> That's it, it's working. The fumes are dissipating now. How bad is it? The rack units have been damaged beyond any functional use. Overall, that's not too bad, considering. What started it? What was the source, Sam? We need to stop it happening again. Um. Responded, uh, the source. That. Looks like it. Oh, no. Hmm. 
residue on panel LFE1 indicates a potential source. What? That's just a blank plate. Let me see. Something is coming out of the side. What is that? It's like a thick grease. E. Oil. Dark red. There is maybe something in storage above that's leaking. Oh, come on. What now? Sam, give me a status report. Work or status report. Severe stress warning. 12. There is significant stress being applied to EAS-12. Immediate separation recommended. Please, if there is anyone in Module 12, make yourself known now. We are about to jettison the module. Someone, please respond. This is getting much worse. <sighs> okay. Sam, get ready for the separation procedure. Okay, first, process my authorization code and give me a security override key. You put uh, authorization code. One four four two four one three three two four. What? Sam, come on! <laughs> it was too fast! 144-241-3324 I'm not a computer, that's the problem. Now. Hurry, Sam! Target the jets and push the module away safely! Uh Sam, target the jets in the correct sequence. What? We don't have much time. Go, go, go. Ah, okay. Now I get it. Why it's so complicated? If you don't fire them in the correct order, the module might tear off. I did it. Oh god, I don't have enough time. Ooh, two seconds left I before that. This is a stressful game, okay? We've stopped spinning. We've stabilized. I think. I think we're okay. Good. Listen, I'm, I'm going to look here to the external cameras and see if we can get a better view of the station. All what's left of it. Relocating camera. Mm -hmm. Locating camera on no connection. Signals are weak and distorted. I don't understand. We should be right above Houston. Can you detect any damage, Sam? I'll try. We must have spun off course. Damage doesn't look too severe. Just isolated sections. Well, damage, not really. Also, it's not the best quality here. What? Oh, there is a the damage. The RU arm upper modules are badly damaged. The damage seems to be localized to the upper part of the arms. The cameras are too slow, like it's taking forever. Okay, well here everything seems to be seem to be normal. Nah. Also damaged. The CN arm is badly damaged. Oh god may. It looks intact though. Oh, 
No, 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 no. Come back. There is minor exterior damage to module EAS-4, likely due to the internal fire. Yeah, I think we got lucky there. I'm going to connect to the distance cam. We should see where we are above Earth and if we've lost any altitude. Is it Saturn? Is it Sat Black Box Entry? Whoa, 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 whoa. I brought you here. It seems. What? Why? Signal accepted, message received, coordinates set. Bring her. I don't know. 